come back to me with all your heart, with fasting, crying, and moaning. Tear your hearts and not your garments. Return to the Lord your God, quotes the book of the prophet Joel, reading from the Ash Wednesday Mass. And in the psalm we hear, Mercy, O Lord, for we have sinned. Franciscans, pilgrims and local Christians gathered around the empty tomb of Christ in the Basilica of the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem to celebrate the beginning of Lent, a time of fasting, penance and prayer. Today's celebration of the ashes takes place around the wayside shrine because this is our goal. Lent is a journey that begins today and its goal is the resurrection. The moment of ashes arrives, a symbol that reminds the Christian of his origin and his end. As the book of Genesis tells us, you are dust and to the dust of the earth you will return. In his homily, brother Joseph said that the ashes symbolize man's humble earthly condition. The ashes from the olive branches that we use on Palm Sunday of the previous year and that we burn, we collect the ashes, we bless them, and then put them on the foreheads of the faithful. As I said in my homily, the ashes remind us of the humble human condition and at the same time call us back to God. Yes, it was very special to be here this Wednesday because it's about conversion. So it's the better place to, to ask for conversion because we need them so much. I need it, and my family need it, and the world need it. Um, so it was oh, very special. It's difficult to tell in words. With Ash Wednesday begins the special programming of the celebrations to commemorate the passion, death, and resurrection of Jesus. Mm -hmm.